Josh Green here for Tungsten Tales. Delighted to be joined by Trina Gulliver here at the Circus Town. You're just telling me you've, you've never played here, so the excitement must be there to get up on that stage. Yeah, yeah, I've never played here. I've you know, spectated here sort of thing in the past, but yeah, it's uh, yeah, looking good. Looking good venue and good setup. Yeah, and I've said to said to all the players I've spoke to so far when you when you walk in and you see all the old faces and people you may not have seen for a few years, it must bring the excitement back. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's nice. It's nice catching up with them, you know. And uh, yeah, it's uh, some um, some awareness wearing well, and some not so well. <laughs> <laughs> How much are you looking forward just to just to getting on that stage and getting the competitive edge back? Because it's been a while since we've seen you on a, a TV stage and just really to get the juices flowing for the darts again. Yeah, you know, I'm a bit apprehensive about it, obviously, because I've been, I've been out of the game for a couple of years, sort of thing, so I'm just trying to ease myself back into it and see see how it goes. And, um, you know, I'll be trying my hardest. Don't, mm. don't worry about that, you know, so... Uh, <laughs> But, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I think all the players here have got so many former world champions at, at World Seniors that they're going to be taking it seriously and there's a, there's a magnificent trophy on the line and it's they're going to want to win that. Trophy. It's a beautiful trophy, that is, and it's lovely that it's, uh, you know, in memory of, of uh, Leighton, Jockey, Eric and, and Andy as well. So, you know, there's, there's a lot... There's a lot of people that want to, that want to lift that trophy. Of course. I can't speak to you without talking about the progress of the ladies' game and, of course, the announcement from a couple of days ago of the women's world match play that will be played over an afternoon session in Blackpool. It's a, a fantastic opportunity for all the female players and to have a qualification system as well, it, it really shows the growth of women's darts. It does, it does, and it's, you know, it's a great, great opportunity for us all as well and, and uh, it's about time something was more structural uh, uh, and there and it's been a long time coming but you know I'm glad the PDC have taken hold of it and uh, they're giving us something to run with and we've got to you know support it and um, give it a go. Do you feel like it's been quite a long time coming with the PDC they've sort of experimented it a little bit with the past they brought in the women's series a couple of years ago and now they finally they've got a TV tournament eight of the best female players playing on Sky Sports it's a fantastic thing the PDC is doing. Yeah, it, it has taken them a while, you know, and, and they have tried it in the past, you know, and but uh, you know now's the right time. I think you know you've, you've got um, Fallon and Lisa that are up there that competed against the men and really showing that we, we can. Yeah. You know, and uh, so to have this platform to um, uh, to move forward on is is great, you know, and fair play to PDC and um, Sky Sports for having the insight to do that. Mm. And there's obviously so many different options that darts players, uh, non-tour tour card holders can take now, whether that be the WDF, whether that be Challenge Tour, whether that be... Yeah, you know, there's quite a selection. Yeah, there it certainly now. is. And, uh, you know, there's, um, there's going to be weekends that clash with them, so there's a lot to pick and choose from. And, uh, you know, that's certainly something that I'll be doing. I'll be, I'll be um, picking and choosing what I do, you know, and, and um, see how I fare. Right, it's great to see you back, Trina, and best Thank of luck you. on that stage. Thank you.